All right. And here we go. So in the wild, you'll see something very similar to this. And then all the way around here, you'll have heavily caked propolis. All right, here we are. This is where we're going to put the log. It's a beautiful garden. I met these guys um, because of a Facebook post that was made at the Portland Urban beekeepers there was a swarm I came over and I grabbed it and I had a chat with the owners and it turns out that the swarm came from their hive so I thought well let's do a little um, exchange I'll bring a log and then um, hopefully something will swarm to it and or I will bring a swarm to the log. But look at this garden. How beautiful is it? They have absolutely every type of plant you can think of. Perfect for bees. It's all these little nooks and crannies, uh, little pathways that take off. Then it comes down into uh, this watershed down here. There's a creek. Um, not only can we put logs in here, but we can also do uh, some swarm boxes up on these trees. I'm absolutely certain that there are um, wild nests down here. I think we should get um, back up here and get the log installed. I do want to say one thing actually about beekeeping that um you know not all beekeepers actually have bees to me a beekeeper is also somebody who just plants no end of natives and non-natives uh, plants and also um shrubs and fruits and vegetables providing habitat and food sources for the bees that's also a great beekeeper. Is that amazing? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you wanted that one section on the flat side of the other one. Yeah. Impressive. What is? <laughs> you are moving it. <laughs> yeah, but wait till tonight. I'll be <laughs> groaning. Well, that part won't mind. be on YouTube. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so the section that has. Where's that entrance? How's it feel? Does it feel pretty sturdy? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, and it looks pretty straight as well. So yeah. <laughs> you got the angle really well on that one. Um. Wow, it's so beautiful. Do we need to worry about its angle on this side or do you think it's heavy enough that it's going to be oh, safe? Yeah. I mean, if anything, uh, what I what I normally do is for the logs is have on either side 
a piece of rebar, like four feet rebar. Right, I saw that in the video. Yeah, and I just, about down there, I have about two feet up. Mm -hmm. Staple that in and it's not going to go anywhere after that. And especially if it was on this side over here too, I think. Yeah, on, yeah, on both sides. You need like yeah. three in for this one. Mm-hmm. Um, heavy. Gosh, it's just amazing. <laughs> It blends in with your garden. That's the great thing. This is lovely, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I think I'll put uh, St. John's wort on the other side because it'll grow quickly and cover the scar. Oh, lovely. Mm-hmm. Now you're showing off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you can get it there, that'll be the trick. So it looks like that's the low side, right? Yeah. So the taller part. Yeah, kind of like that. Ooh, -hoo! that was tricky for sure. Ooh, wow. Wow. God. I think it's pretty, um, like it's almost been made for it, don't you think? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Don't you think? It's lovely. Yeah. So now, see what they might do is they're either going to be using that uh -huh. or something up here. But what I want to do is get pieces of wood and then just like at least And wedge slithers. them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just wedge in any kind of cracks because then what they'll do after that, the bees will just fill in all the cracks with propolis and then in about a, a month mm -hmm. after bees being in here, this will be welded shut wow. by the bees. That's amazing. Yay. What do you think? I think that's lovely. Main thing is no predators will get in there. Yeah, and it's beautiful. And my dance force, Budokax.